What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of The Car Cast. Except this time we are not in a car. <laughs> As you can see, we are in New York City. We were traveling this week and don't have a car with us, so we ended up walking because we don't want to miss a week of posting an episode. So we walked through New York City, through Manhattan. Which, which place did we stop by? So we started off in Soho, so you can see like the cobblestone streets right now. Um, then from there, we went to Washington Square Park. After that, it was uh, Union Square Park. And then we went out to Madison Square Garden. From there, Times Square, and then we ended up in Central Park. So yeah. it was about <laughs> like an hour and a half to two hours of walking. I yeah. would say we probably did like 75 blocks. Yeah, it was uh, My feet hurt. <laughs> quite a change of pace from, dri from driving around everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's different. So this will be a special episode. We probably should call it a walk cast in this a case. A walk cast. <laughs> Uh, but it was, it was really cool just like walk you know as we're looking through like uh our, our walk i'm just like seeing so many people you don't really yeah. get that in la where you see yeah. like so many stories and memories being made all all around you it's such a different vibe like yeah. I, I i don't know what it was but i was like i don't remember seeing this many people in a long time <laughs> yeah it's 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 honestly insane um and it just brings back so much memories because we went to school on the east coast and we you know it's we true. go to new york city pre pretty frequently and yeah i would just have so many memories there and as i was looking I don't know, as i'm looking here i'm like wow i remember being there i remember being there <laughs> and it's so true. i remember getting really good bubble tea near washington <laughs> square park at boba guys oh man that was like my spot yeah <laughs> i love it whenever you like look at a certain place and you just remember a specific memory it's it's hard because you know we all have so many memories but it's hard to actually think about specific ones until you actually have something that'll trigger that memory, like those True. special moments. Uh, yeah, I'm not thinking now, like, it, it's actually one of the only ways to really preserve special moments is if you have something tangible to remember it by. True. Like, in New York City, we, we, were in a <laughs> we were in a subway one time together. This was, this was years back. And we heard, um, we heard like a street performer, like a subway uh, guitar performer who was singing a song. She was singing the song "Only You" by The Platters, and at that time we didn't we didn't really think of too much about it because we, we didn't know what the song was. But we just we really liked it. We're like, wow, this is really pretty because she she had a nice little rendition of the song. Uh -huh. We googled the lyrics, found the original song. It was "Only You," and. Uh, down the line, we ended up making that our, our wedding song. Yeah, that was the song that we danced to. <laughs> yeah. And like, we always remember it just because of like the unique situation. Yeah. Like, normally when you're on a subway and someone is singing, it's not always that good. But like, she was like really good. We were just like, yeah. we like the song. I'm thinking like, if we didn't make it our song, could this have just been one of the like forgotten memories? Because maybe it's just like, well, you know, we had, we had a lot of good memories, but a lot of them were just get forgotten just naturally because like only so like true. only the ones that really leave its mark end up like sticking in your mind i mean i agree like my memory's trash so <laughs> i feel like i need something attached to it to really remember yeah. what happened it, it makes sense if you think about it. like that's why people take photos or like videos yeah. like it's it's, a, it's something to remember it's an something asset, by. You could say like if you look through your instagram now yeah. you look through your photos yeah i'm sure you're gonna be able to think of something that is so true you're gonna think of a story let me, let's do it right now. Yeah, let's do it right now. Okay. So I'm going to look through my Instagram. I'm going to find a photo that reminds me of something. Hmm. Hmm. I would say, ooh, I got a good one. Okay, okay. So here is Granada. This is um, pretty, basically the architecture of Granada is very much like, you know, Spanish architecture, a lot of like white buildings, very old, very old. My memory of this photo that came to my mind instantly was, so there were a lot of, you know, this is like old, old buildings. Lots of rusty, rusty metal like window covers that were like sticking out, right? So I was walking with my friend and I'm pretty like clumsy and ditzy when I walk. So I would do not pay attention to what I could possibly be hitting. And then I just like hit my arm across this rusty window. It was just like a part was sticking out oh my and my God. arm starts bleeding. And then like, I'm like, that's fine. Like, it's just like a little scratch. And my friend's a nurse. So she was like, oh, like when, when did you get your tetanus shot? And I'm like, do I know these things? And I'm like, I have no idea, like zero clue. And I text my mom and she's like, oh, 
it's been a while. She said it's been probably like 10 years. And so then my friend, who's a nurse, Michelle, was just like, yeah, you should get a booster shot. And I'm like, oh, is it like that serious? And I'm like, <laughs> it was rusty. It was very rusty. So I was like, okay, let's go to the hospital. Oh my and God. we ended up going like very late. Like it, so we had a flight that night and we were like, okay, we need to fit in time to somehow go to the hospital before the flight. So we went to a random, a random hospital near the airport um, and no were, one spoke. Were you still bleeding at this point? or like? Yeah, you... like it was just like, like it was bleeding, but I just put a bunch of band-aids on it. Okay, it wasn't just like. No, no, okay, I put okay. a bunch of band-aids on it. No, no. Okay, okay. And we went to this <laughs> random hospital. It was like more like in the low key suburban area and where no one spoke English. Like everyone was speaking Spanish. So I'm like, oh no, I don't know how to describe my situation. So I literally just like Google translated it. I Googled it. It was like, Rusty window, tetanus shot. And they're like, okay, okay. And so then I get into the I get into the room, the doctor greets me. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. And then he's like, okay. I'm like, what? And he and then like I was really confused. I was like, what is He didn't say anything in English? No, he 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 was saying it in Spanish. Okay. And then I didn't he knew I didn't speak Spanish, so wow. he just like motioned. So then I was like, what's that mean? And then Michelle's like he wants you to pull down your pants. And I'm like, oh, why would I do that? Like, I got this arm right here. I'm very ready for this. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, apparently it's the norm in Spain and many countries in Europe, apparently, that these types of shots, they do it through your butt cheek. No one told me this. And I had no idea. Like, I didn't know what he meant. So I kind of just like, okay. And then, like, I did that. I got my tetanus shot booster. Yeah my butt cheek which apparently is normal like i told wow. my parents and they're and they're like and they're both algerian and it's also like that in algeria and they're like so and i'm like does no one understand how weird the situation yeah. was for I've, me i've never had a shot in, in my butt cheek that sounds that sounds like, like an interesting and experience. like it's confusing when you don't know what they're saying yeah. they're just like telling you to take your pants off and you're like well that's weird that's wild so yeah <laughs> There is that memory associated. Yeah, and that came just from looking through your Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I honestly think everyone should just do a quick, quick stroll through your Instagram. Remember those memories? You took the photos for a reason. Yeah, it's a good incentive to take photos. It's you know, it's something tangible to remember stuff by. It's so true. Yeah. It's so true. Man, just looking at this New York City footage, man. I just there's so many New York City stories. One time, I remember walking through this place with one of my. Uh, friends from college, his name is uh, Mateo. Actually, we we took a, a buddy trip to New York City. We walked through. We I think this was one of our first times, if not our first times, like actually exploring the city. And we just went all over the place, and we got carried away. And we ended up <laughs> we ended up missing our bus back home to Phil or back to our, our dorms in Philadelphia. We were just supposed to be a day trip, and it was like a what time was it? it we got the, we booked the last bus home. <laughs> at like 11 p.m. Oh no. And we missed it. Oh no. <laughs> we just missed cut because the subways are so complicated for, for people who aren't in the city. The re oh, man, I get Listen, Google Maps is very clear about where to go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll get back to the story in a second, but I hate public transportation. It's just not for me. I know no, it, it's I know it's, it's nice. good for society and everything, yeah. but like I just can't figure it out. Once just, you figure it out, it'll be good. Yeah. It takes a while. Well, M Mateo and I, we didn't figure yeah. it out. We we ended up Missing the missing this uh, the last bus home to Philadelphia and the next bus was at like I think eight a.m. the next morning, so oh, no. we're like okay, so it sounds like we gotta oh, spend no. the night in New York City and as bro college students yeah we're like should we <laughs> waste some money on a on a hotel for a few hours but then we're just like so what what we ended up doing you know we're like all right let's let's explore a little longer until we get burnt out and <laughs> oh, no. we got burnt out like at 2 3 a.m and then we're like all right we need to get some sleep oh no so oh, no, <laughs> we no, thought no, no, no. you know we went to times square we thought we could just you know go to mcdonald's or burger king and just <laughs> in times square like the most crowded yeah place. that's why we thought we thought like nobody would care and if it's super crowded it's like open 24 hours we're like let's just sit there and just like you know kind of kind of sleep a little bit questionable the most crowded area <laughs> the loudest area you thought you could sleep <laughs> oh yeah no the, the loudest was fine like we we got we were fine we, we actually we caught like 20 30 minutes i remember at, i think at a burger king oh wow and then the employee <laughs> said like you can't sleep here that that was the issue okay okay that makes sense so we makes left sense. that makes sense and then we went to some hotel lobby 
And we caught like a solid two hours. We got like oh. like an hour and a half, two hours before wow. someone kicked us off at that hotel lobby. Wait, that's so interesting. So you went to the place where you're supposed to purchase a stay. Yeah. And then just because we felt like, you know it's like a clean area that was relatively it's probably quiet. a little less sketchy, but. <laughs> and then the, the biggest stretch was like we went to a diner and like ordered something so that you know we're customers, and then we we kind of just dozed off there for a little bit. <laughs> So it was it was a wild night of, of being drifters, but we ended up making it home. We caught we made sure we caught that eight a.m. bus home. Wow, I'm so proud of you yeah. for making it. We walked through a lot of this this parts of these spots in New York City. I mean, what else are you gonna do when you don't have a place to stay? You have many hours to spare. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I feel like when I was looking at this footage, walking through, I also had a bunch of memories coming up. One of my favorite ones, I remember past Washington Square Park, the area of the Arch. And I was working on a Friday, just a regular Friday, my regular job. It was like, I think like 1 p.m. And one of my favorite bands, Vampire Weekend, posts on their Instagram, like literally 60 seconds ago, we're going to be in Washington Square Park just playing some music. Come this. see us. And I'm like, well, I was like, I'm 15. Like, I used to live here I for about so a year. I was so jealous of you this day. Yeah. We love Vampire Weekend. Yeah. And I was only a 15 minute walk from Washington Square Park. So I was like, I, I can do it. I'm going to run. I dropped all my responsibilities. Like I had like my manager pinging me on Skype and I'm like, I got to go. This is very important. I got to leave. And so I just ran, like I'm like sweating, ran to Washington Square Park. And I was like, the crowd was huge. There were already a ton of people there. Yeah. Like, even though he posted like literally 10 minutes ago, so many people were there and they were so casual, like Ezra Koenig, with his band, I don't know anyone's else name because I might be a little fake of a fan, but it's fine. You got to see him And live. also, yeah. no, the guy who Intimate was in the new concert. album, there was a guy and a woman in the new album who were featured. Both of yeah. them also were there and they were just playing music, like just like in the park, just jamming. Just jamming. And I was like, nice. this is such a vibe. They were there for like 45 minutes. And the best part was when they were wrapping up, they didn't say, okay, we're piecing. Instead, they all, just started walking while playing music towards their van. And it was just like such a vibe. Like they were not, they were so unbothered by the fact that they were trying to peace out. They just were like, all right, we're still jamming. <laughs> and we're walking and people just started running after him. And he's still in, like, it was very impressive yeah. to be able to eventually start running towards his van while still playing. That's Ends up in his van. He starts throwing shirts at everyone and then they peace out. And it was just like, it was, I want to say it was a good way to promote his new music. Yeah, spontaneous, he's new songs. spontaneous concert. In their city. I mean, they're a New York City band. Makes, I mean, it's, yeah. it's awesome. And I think he did the same in LA. Like, he also, yeah. like, posted, like, hey, I'm going to be in maybe, like, a Legion Park oh, or something. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. I missed that one. Yeah. yeah. Like, also, in the middle of the workday. Like, you know, maybe they do that on purpose so they know not a lot of people can <laughs> come and they're like, it'll be low-key. But honestly, like, yeah, amazing vibe. Amazing vibe. <laughs> <laughs> so now, where are we now? We're like, in Times Square. Times Square, Times oh my Square. god. Grimy. A lot of people. Dirty. That's dirty. Sure. You know, when we... Dirty. Dirty is just a great way to describe New York City in one word. I... We got... One of the first things that happened in New York City when today, or yesterday, when we, when yeah. we landed, we got into the, uh, the, the subway. Yeah, yeah. And then as we're leaving, we see human feces on yeah. the floor. Which is it's, nothing. You know, what's crazy is like that's not a wild thing. I don't think it's people like a realize that. Occurrence. That's the norm in New York City, it's, which is it's insane. It's sad, but it's true. It's insane. Like it's it's true. Like New York City's dirty. We know this, but it's a struggle. To, it's just, whenever I'm New here, I, just, I always feel like New York City is a city of it's struggle. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. It's Where hard. the struggle is the standard. Yeah. Would you agree? It is. Yeah. Like some people probably like that. I think you know people. A lot of you know. I hear a lot of people who love New York City. They love how everyone's hustling and bustling and they've got like great work ethic they're always working they're always alive but they're always and they're always struggling that's the thing always struggling that's like, just not me <laughs> I, yeah i like like i i did it for a year and i was satisfied but i felt the struggle yeah like i was like i just feel like people are not as happy as they could be here people are really angry and oh man no i feel like Times Square really encompasses that because <laughs> yeah. it's a combination of a bunch of tourists and then the angry people who do live there and it's just like a weird mix yeah. 
yeah. of the struggle all in one place. And people are usually mesmerized by Times Square, but I'm like, this is the struggle right here. <laughs> yeah. But like, I mean, I guess I would, I would like to ask you, Barry, because I know you prefer LA and I prefer LA actually. Would you say though that you prefer a city that is like a walking city? So like New York City, I would say Philly is a walking city. Mm-hmm. Let's just say in this case, New York City, walking city. Yeah. Or would you prefer a driving city like LA? Like take away the biases. Let's say both cities have all the things you love. Okay. Now it's just if you're going to drive or you're going to walk. Uh, which one would you pick? I've got to pick driving. I mean, walking is fun. I like walking for pleasure, like on vacation, going on strolls, but like every day as we were doing this yesterday just walking i was like i don't know if i can walk everywhere to to be fair we walked like 10 miles yesterday that's not like normal but it's limiting like for example we wanted to like get home and it was like well taking the subway is gonna take just the same amount of time to walk yeah like the same amount of time to walk so we (laughs) might as well walk and uber would be like waste of money so it's just like if we had a car we get home in like 10 minutes yeah but then there's parking and like all the things you gotta deal with yeah I mean, I, I, I think I think driving brings a really nice ease of mind for me. Okay. It's like it's also like a, a sanctuary for me to reach just you're in your car, you have essentials in your car, you usually leave like water, some jackets in your car, like you have everything <laughs> that you need. And you like the safe space. You yeah. don't want that struggle. And it's like yesterday when we're going out for a walk, it's like, well, we gotta make sure we have everything we need. We yeah, don't wanna carry that too nice? much. Yeah, we don't wanna carry too much exactly. because Exactly. Minimalism. It, yeah, but it's just like, then it's like we're carrying stuff. I don't know. I'm not too much know. of a walking guy in, in terms of like actual day-to-day stuff. I like walking, don't get me wrong, for no. pleasure. But I'm guessing you're, you're a walking person? Yeah, he already knows. I, I prefer walking cities yeah. at the end of the day. I just really enjoy being able to leave my place. I only get to a car. I can just walk to where I need to go. Like, it's instant. Like, oh, the coffee shop's right there. I can just walk there. There's like a lot of effort of like grabbing your keys, getting out of your parking spot, and then traffic. And also when when you're driving, you have to be aware, unless you're in the passenger seat, but like as the driver, you have to be yeah. aware, like you have to you be do. paying attention. In like a walking situation, it's like more passive. And if you're on the subway, then that's like you can do whatever you want. And like, yes, you're on the subway and it's disgusting, but you can do whatever you want. Like, like you can lines. just be on your phone. Oh, oh like, yeah, you can, okay, like, yeah. That's what I mean. Like, you don't need to be paying attention. You there's, can, like, zone out. There's never any service, no reliable service. No, so I think so. Now, nowadays, there's more service than normal. Really? I just, I just really like walking. I like being on my feet. Being on my two feet <laughs> and getting places. I just, I just enjoy doing that. Okay. Uh, that's, I, fair. that's my That's my favorite thing. I wonder what most people are. You know, let us know. Yeah, like... Driving or walking. Yeah. And I guess... The assumption is if it's walking, then there's like public transportation available yeah. for those situations where, you know, it's like a two hour walk. Yeah. I just, I just love walking. I really enjoy it. You need the right shoes though. <laughs> you need the right shoes. Yeah. And the right socks. I'm, the right that, socks. A lot of people just emphasize the shoes as an important part whenever you're going to be walking a lot. Socks matter so much. Socks matter so much. I got, I have these padded socks, like these like athletic performance right. socks they make the biggest difference as it's opposed crazy. to like wearing like some thin casual socks. So it makes sense. If you're going to be walking, wear, wear some good socks. Yeah. Wear good socks, wear good shoes. Like we only be cute out here. We only wear heels. We only do yeah. it. Just wear your sneakers. <laughs> have a good time. Like yeah. it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. I'm wrapping up here at Central Park. Yeah. Uh, Central Park, man. What, what about it? It's so big. I don't think people realize it. I don't city, think I've like, seen all of it. Yeah, like, I, I always thought Central Park was like, oh, it's like this iconic, just little nice park in just New York a City. Little nice park. It's the size of, like, an entire city. It's to huge. To be honest, yeah. Like, I, I'm kind of curious if anyone out there has walked all of Central Park in, like, one setting. How long did it take? What kind of things did you see? Yeah. Like, every time I go to Central Park, I'm always like, oh, I've never been here. Like, I always am walking somewhere new. But my favorite... My favorite spot of Central Park, which I guess is kind of an extension, is um, uh, the, so the Met Museum, right? The Metropolitan Museum, great museum, art, etc., whatever. But they have a rooftop that not a lot of people know about. It's like I used to, growing up, I would go on school trips to the Met Museum all the time. No one ever talked about a rooftop. Everyone's like, look at this painting. Look at this sculpture. 
And I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. But there's like a rooftop where you can see like a beautiful view of Central Park, a beautiful view of the city. Uh, it's like, it's just there. And there's like also more sculptures and art. Have I been there? there? I don't know if you've been there. I don't think I've been there. That's it's like cool. really nice. And- Oh, we should go. Yeah, that's true. We were there <laughs> yesterday. But like, it, it's just like low key. And, it's just, and like the Met is, well the Mets, I guess the Mets policy is like, pay what you think you should pay. Mm. But you can also like, just not pay anything. And it's free. <laughs> like it's just like you enter but it's like a donation base right donate what you can as an entry fee yeah. but you don't have to so yeah, leave a few dollars or, yeah or not if you can't a afford few it. dollars yeah like the Mets are a pretty pretty nice spot and it's yeah. surprising that that would be their business model given it's in a very expensive city yeah I guess they have a lot of donors yeah they do pretty well New York City man what a vibe lots of what people a vibe. lots of stories lots of memories yeah you either hate it or you love it, or you love to hate it, or you hate to love it. One of those, yeah. like, it's, it's just how it is. <laughs> <laughs> she always says that she hates New York City, yeah. but then, like, and wants then to I, move there every couple of weeks. I don't know what I want. <laughs> no, I think after being here again, like, I haven't been here for, like, over a year and a half, almost two years. I think now I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I prefer LA. I, yeah. I can now say it. I think I'm just, it's just the walking part that gets me, I think. Yeah. That's just it. But I just, I think I prefer LA. Nice. All right. Well, thanks for joining us on our impromptu episode. We definitely didn't want to miss it. Yes, sir. Even though we're not in the car, we gave you something. So it's a special car cast episode where we are walking. I think a walk cast is, I think we should keep this going. Like, look at all the things you see. Yeah, it's, you know, in a lot of ways, it's a lot more interesting because you see a lot of different people and things. It's true. It's true. All right. Yep. Well, see you next time. We'll probably be back in the car in LA. Until then, peace and love and stay safe. Bye.